Hey, it's Brown and Kickstarter of PPC, and today we're going to be diving into one-click search terms and how potentially they're costing you a lot of money and what you can do about it. So let's jump straight into the video. Now, before we start the video, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, this will make sure that you're up to date on everything Amazon PPC and FBA that we're going to be releasing in the near future. We're going to be coming out with a lot of good content, so you won't want to miss out on anything. And that's the only way that you can stay fully up to date with what we're coming out with. Now, to jump straight in, when we bring on a new brand, the first thing we do is we do a full-scale audit of their account. And this is one of the sections of the audit. So if you worked with us, this is what it would look like. And you'd be getting a template like this based on your PPC performance. Now, the first thing that we would see on an audit like this is 48% of spend is generating zero sales. So that's almost 50% of spend. And that's really bringing up that ACOS. Now, the question is, what would we do about it? And in this case, you can see where there's 1,500 search terms aren't generating any sales. So that would be our main focus from the start. Go in there, find the inefficiency, start adding negative phrase and exact match, go through the search and reports, and also look for relevancy. Is there anything that we're targeting that's not relevant to the product? If there is, add as a negative. We might find that also broad matches are a bit of a problem and broad match typically is where a lot of the inefficiency comes from out of the three match types excluding the autos so we might want to scale back on the broad and focus more on phrase and exact now i wanted to show you a healthier account here to show you what the numbers should look like in a normal circumstance as you can see there is a degree of inefficiency 12 percent but that is quite normal, especially if you're testing out new search terms. So this is like 2,300 search terms, which is still quite a lot, but you're generating a lot of sales from the top five keywords here. So from this, you would see, first of all, top five keywords are generating most of the sales. You wanna be going after more, but also focusing on these top five keywords, making sure we're staying rank number one, making sure that we're dominating in terms of market share, um, also expanding on the branded keywords because there was none, none of this report. So that would be the main takeaways I'd get from this report. So I'm going to be going into a search and report that I've made here. And as you can see, it's got a lot of different search terms in it. And I'm going to be showing you what you need to be looking for in terms of a negative phrase or a negative exact. If you don't have scale insights already on that platform, you can add things as a negative phrase or exact in the blacklist rule, which means it applies it across the board, across all your campaigns for the ASIN. So it saves you having to go into each campaign manually, add it all in. So strongly recommend that. We have a link in the description, 30 day free trial and a 10% off lifetime discount. So you check it out below. Also, if you don't have a master keyword list, strongly recommend making one. You can use any of the search and report data that you have for that list. And you want to be building that list with the negative terms from your search and reports, add it to a list so it's all in one place. So this is about a milestone blanket. So this is a type of gift for a baby, a newborn. And as you can see, there's a lot of different keywords in here. A lot of them are one and two click search terms. So there is a large degree of inefficiency here. And as you can see, there's keywords such as twin. Twin. It makes sense in a way because a twin bed or, you know, a baby that's got twins, but it's just too broad of a term. It's not going to be generating you any sales. You probably want to be adding it as a negative exact. So that's something you want to be looking at as an exact match. ASINs, you want to check over the ASINs you're going after. If they're generating you no sales, add them as a negative exact. Firstly, I wouldn't be running an auto campaign and just spending out of control anyway. So I'd want to narrow this down based on what's working, pull the auto campaign or just lower the budget on it. So it's not spending as it, as it has been here. There are a lot of different keywords such as uh, baby stuff. That keyword just isn't that great. So this would be something you'd want to add as a negative phrase. Um, all baby stuff. So these sort of keywords that are just going to cost you money, one click, one impression. Um, you want to make sure you're not targeting things like this. You want to be very granular in what you're targeting. 
Look at what the competitors are targeting. Use Cerebro on Helium 10. Look at your data dive tools. So do four keyword research. Make sure you're not just running auto campaigns, targeting stuff for the sake of it. Keep it very specific to your product, even if you have only a handful of keywords here. So there's really tons of ways that you can limit your inefficiency within your PPC campaigns. And if you aren't already, we'd strongly recommend you start doing this every month because this allows you to really dial in on what's costing you money and limit that spend. Because if you just leave it, you're gonna spend every month, you're probably gonna be getting a certain amount of spend on that keyword. And if you're looking over the course of a year, it's not gonna be pretty. So it's better to catch it sooner than later, add that as a negative exact or phrase, and then start having that budget allocated to your better performing keywords. So it's a win-win. And if you work with us, we do audits every month. So we actually able to catch all these bad performing keywords, stop them spending out of control right from the get go and save you money in that way as well. So if you wanna work with us, contact me below. My details are in the description and we'll do an audit for you, see where we can improve things and work with you on how to fix those problems. Until the next video, hope you guys have a good day and we'll see you then. Bye.